what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A very angry and determined thug tried to bogart his way into a Walmart in Orlando, Florida, and got refused service. Backstory. Dude, <laughs> dude pops up at Walmart. He tries to go through the door, and there's an employee standing there blocking him, and he immediately goes in on the employee to push him. <laughs> and as soon as that happens, instant karma. He falls, busts his ass on the floor, and he gets right back up, undeterred, and just boom, just charges back in. And each time he tries to make his way into another aisle, he gets blocked. And he's going and going and going, and he's like just talking a whole bunch of noise, and he just refuses to wear a mask. There's even a guy in the video that says, hey man, just put the mask on. Let the guy do his job. You want a mask? We got a mask. And he wouldn't even dignify with a response. He's just, just bailed out. He just finally, after a while, I mean, he just kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. And then he finally, he just bailed out and left. Where does that come from, family? Dun, dun, dun. White privilege. Hey, man, it is what it is. Can't call it nothing else. Because they are the only ones that do stuff like that. Let's just call it what it is, fam. You got a certain segment of people that are white who thinks the world revolves around them and that the rules don't apply to them. This incident happened on the exact same day that Orange County, which is where Orlando is located, issued an executive order that every person living, working, visiting, or doing business in the county wear a face covering. But the bifocal bandit felt it didn't apply to him. Where does that come from? Dun, dun, dun. White privilege. Where else? Dude would not give up. He was intent on shopping without a mask. He was going to be the only one in the entire store that's going to shop without a mask. You see, fam, this is another example of why White crime don't seem to be so high. Because you know, without a doubt, had he been black or Hispanic, his ass would have went to jail. You know, Walmart got police officers on speed dial. Bam! He was in there long enough for the police to pull up if they wasn't already there. Plus, they have security on duty already. But he didn't go to jail. He was allowed to walk out of there on his own free will. These type of crimes, a black person like that, Spanish like that, you're going to jail, partner. They're going to stick it to you. So imagine how often stuff like this happened. You know, similar uh, level crimes happen, right? Not blacks or Hispanics demanding to walk into a place of business without a mask, but the same level of crimes that, that yields the same amount of uh, punishment or whatever. Thousands, tens of thousands every day. This is why the courts are filled with blacks and Hispanics. You're going to get the charge. The blacks and Hispanic going to get the charge where the white person, if the police come around at all, may get a warning. Remember that case where 
the white woman block the black woman's Mercedes Benz with her stroller, with her baby inside, preventing the woman from leaving the store, prevented her from leaving the parking lot. There is no way a black woman would have did the exact same thing and the police would have been, would have pulled up and been so courteous and talked to the suspect first. She would have went to jail. They don't go to jail oftentimes for these type of things. Because when the police show up, all they do is play the victim. And that's good enough for them not to go to jail. This dude, he's probably been making moves like this his entire life. Imagine how off somebody have to be to feel so entitled. I don't know his name, but whoever he is, his mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.